Good morning, everybody. It is day one of our swordfish camp, our swordfish school here, where we give people hands-on three-day fishing crash course on swordfish and how to rig baits, how to drive the boat, deploy them, and basically introduce you to swordfishing if you haven't done it yet. It's still pitch black. Everybody's about to show up here soon, and we'll rig baits to get started, and we'll head offshore. It's a little windy and rainy today. It'll be a rough ride, but uh, it looks better the next two days, so stay tuned. All right, here we go. We'll see you out there. The warbird working, so we can't catch a dolphin on the way out. Rough south wind. Fresh bait. Some more swam up. Lots of bait now. Here we go. Here we go. We're sword fishing now. We'll check back in if we hook up. We had one little cheap bite earlier. Didn't get them. Started eating lunch. The rod just been over. We got a swordfish on now, I think. I hope. Marking a lot of bait out here out deep. You know, a good transducer here. Lots of bait up there and some bait there, you know. Here we go. Yeah. Bean, you're always eating. I was about to make my lunch. You're always eating. I was about to make my lunch, okay? And then what happened? Get interrupted. Through swordfish. Stupid swordfish. <laughs> now I got now I gotta do something. Now I gotta work. 200 feet. Back and drag up one inch. We're on the board, beautiful fish. That was the bait that got him. N O V M C. Who rigged that bait? Who had black and silver? Was that you? Any other takers? Is that you? Oh, no. I, I was me. I, no, I it, it definitely was not the beans, so. Uh, it definitely wasn't the beans bait, so. Yeah, it was one of the two, so. There we go, we got them done now. Luca, what's going on here? We got a swordfish on a jug rock. Fish on! Fish on the jug, right there? Right there. There we go, let's see what happens. This kid's got swordfish luck, I tell you. <laughs> we got a fish on. Hope he stays. Fish on! He's trying to throw the hook right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, big sword, guys. He's, I think he's 200. Big fish. Look at that. He's Look at that thing ripping it. Fish. He's racing up, racing up, racing, racing, racing up. Right here, right here, right here. Holy oh, smokes. This is what a lot of sports do. They try to get underneath the boat. Hey, Nick, Light shot all the way up 
Big swordfish took that deep, took us out of 2000, 2013 right now. Every time it comes up, he goes back down, but fingers crossed he stays on there. Circling now. Made some crazy moves by the boat there. He was trying to get underneath it and getting the wheels. Way under, way under, way under. Jet black. Quick move, quick move, quick move, quick move. Wow, Jim. Holy God. Oh my God. Good work, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, she's coming. She's still moving. She's still moving. She's still moving right with you. Big kiss, man. Oh, crazy. Crazy move out. Crazy move out. Let go of the line. 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 Big, big move for the boat. Big move for the boat. Big move, big move. Big move. Big fish there, exciting battle. It was charging the boat, but we got him. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Oh my god. Oh my oh god. My god. The, 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 first, the first shot that pulled out. Yeah, the second shot. Look how look how it is barely in there. Dolphin belly, the green machine. Green machine. There we Woo! Go. All right, things worked out. I told Bean this morning we're due for a big one, and we got a big one here. He's definitely over 200. Yeah! On the board. Yes. One, two, three. Now that new spin there. Start pulling them in, guys. Big fish. Watch out. Watch out. There you go. There you go. Keep walking them in. Hold the bill. Big Hold fish, guys. Big fish. Don't let go of that bill. Yeah. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Where's the nice bill? Yeah. Yeah. I got bill now. There's a 250 pound. Yeah, I was like 250. Oh. That's a nice fish. Woo! Hey, yeah! Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Woo! Oh, oh, wow. Big one. All right, Captain Nick, good driving, good dude. Morning. Good job, everybody. It was nerve wracking. On the stands ride, if you guys want one, I'll put a link below, but that's my swordfish ride right there. They got it done. Great first day of the swordfish camp. So one small one, one big one. We were due for a big one. Great job on the reel, buddy. It was a good job. How's he hitting though? No, I hit him, uh, I was on the other side. I hit him all three throws. The first one, it like bounced off because I saw yeah, the, the so harpoon. There's a hole in it. I saw the harpoon. Hit. Remember I said it stuck him, the harpoon just stopped going down. Just pulled up, it just came right out to the second shot, really stuck him, pulled out again. Third shot, just barely got him in the tail. He got a lot of excuses. He <laughs> got a lot of shots in. Yeah! Yeah! Hello, <laughs> yeah. you know, Captain Nick! What, about an hour, <laughs> hour and a half fight? Wait, all he did was drive the bow. What about the team? Yeah, I mean, you didn't even rig the bait. Glenn rigged that bait. Glenn rigged that bait. That's his green machine. Woo! Yeah! It's picture time, you guys. It's a great fish. <laughs> big swordfish, baby. Yeah, oh, baby. Woo. Yeah, big one. That's right. Big one. So we're back at Bud Mary's. We're going to weigh up this beautiful swordfish, and we're going to start cleaning them after that. Great first day of the swordfish camp. You got fun, buddy? Yep. All right. Somebody 
So we're gonna weigh this swordfish, see what he goes. Leave a comment below. How big do you think this swordfish is? How many pounds do you think it is? He said 260, he said 295. 273. He said 273. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Oh boy. I'll say 264 just to be safe. I got faith. You might go backwards. There you go. Keep going. There you go. What do we got? Uh, 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 69. I said 68, he said 69. I said 68. Nice job. 269 pounder. Great wow. fish, guys. So we're gonna measure this fish. This was Tom's first ever swordfish, you know. Glenn rigged that bait. It's day one. But He's probably gonna get a swordfish mount from Great Taxman like that. I remember this fish for the rest of his life. It was an exciting one and a good one to start with. So let's measure him up real quick. We might need a longer tape measure, you guys. That's a 10 foot long tape measure, but I think he's longer than that. Oh, I know he's longer than that now. Well, that's 120 right there. So 120 plus uh, plus 13. Uh, 13, yeah. 133 inch swordfish, you guys. This thing was mean around the boat. He was racing all over and didn't know if we'd get him or not, but we got him. Now we get to eat him and we get to immortalize them and remember that fish forever. So here we go, we're gonna start cleaning. We're gonna cut his bill off first and then we'll start flaying him after that. So here we go. Let's see if I can get this thing off without uh, hurting ourselves. Oh boy, that was solid there. Now when these things are on the ground, they're actually easier to cut off because you get the leverage to lift the bill up. You wanna hold that? Yeah, you push it up there, perfect. Go. Kind of pin it back up this way a little bit. Perfect. And it's up there. That is one bloody bill, guys. Start at the top and work our way down, just like always. Get his back, now we'll do his bottom side, his belly side here. Oh wow. Bladder. Maybe. And right behind his gills and his pec fin. Now this fish is big, so we're gonna quarter him. You know, we're just cutting quarters off. We're not doing the whole sideways steak. If you can, come help grab this steak here. Yeah, just I won't I'll try not to catch you, but there you go, perfect. Just Work it over like that, perfect. Look at that loin right there. That's some slavage. Look at that right there. Look at that right there, I mean, that's prime. You wanna go put it on the table, buddy? Yeah. Don't drop it, all right? You think you can eat all that? Yeah. We're gonna do three big sections like that and just work our way down there. Now you can see the bloodline, so it's easy to split them. The first time you're just gonna guess and you just get it close, so. There we go. You can, come grab this other filet here. Yep. Or if you can grab there, there you go, perfect. Yeah, just go nice and easy. And pull it right up there. Perfect. Should be off, right? One side. Perfect, there you go. Right, thank now you. that's a loin right there. That is some meat. There we go. Look at that right there, that's beautiful. Look at that. There you go.
Look at that beautiful meat there. Wow. That is a slab of meat. <laughs> Pure slabbage right there. Got it, buddy? There you go. Put it right on that table, all right? The good news is we're halfway done. That's the last one. There you go. You got it, buddy? Yeah. That's like a 25 pound slab of meat there, you guys. Oh, this is everybody's favorite. They want to see what these big fish are eating down there. These swordfish that live down there in you know, 1,000, 2,000 feet of water. It was about 1,700. We were going to find out what he was eating, so here we go. This is his stomach right here. Let's pop it on the ground. Ready, Luca? Holy moly, look at all those squids, buddy. Yep, yeah, he was on squid. Now do it later. Oh my god. There you go. He likes squid. <laughs> now you might be wondering why we don't use squid, but you know, this is like eating french fries. We gave him a nice little hamburger and he gulped it down. So we gotta mix it up. Look, don't you get tired of eating the same thing all the time? Yeah. Exactly, you gotta mix it up. So there you go. Alright, so that's how to clean a big giant swordfish. That's what he was eating. We'll see you back at home. We'll cook up a piece of that swordfish for dinner. All right, we're tag teaming in the kitchen. Chef Bean and Assistant Chef Nick. We're gonna cut the swordfish fillet, and I believe they call this the heart of the swordfish. It's not the actual heart, but it's the heart of the fillet. This tenderloin right here, you kind of see where it follows along there. So check this out. We're gonna cut this off and make these two different pieces. You can just cut right along there, and this piece will kind of just roll off like that. See how it's kind of falling, rolling off right there? Now this was a nice swordfish there, 269 pounder. And he's got a lot of nice fat in there. You can see the white rings in there. That's the fat content. And uh, this is gonna be a juicy, juicy piece of fish. So we'll just trim this bloodline off there just to knock the rest of that off. Then we're gonna stake it up. How wide, Chef Bean? About that wide or wider? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do? That'll do. So these are gonna be our steaks right here. That is prime right there. You can see the rings. That's the fat in there. That's gonna be really good. Uh, Trying to make the next one more even for me. Oh, bean, bean, bean. So we're gonna get four nice steaks out of this piece here. And mm. Bean is gonna whip it up here and we're gonna see what he does, so. All right, it's me, Bean. Sarah's on vacation still, so I'm in the kitchen Bean's again. in the house again, because Sarah's still gone. Uh, so, you know, Nick doesn't have a lot in his kitchen, so we, uh, we do have some side dishes here from the Trading Post. Support your local grocery store. Uh, I want to do something really simple with this sort of fish. I'm just going to use some olive oil from Ala Murata. Garlic infused olive oil because, like I said, Dick doesn't have anything in his kitchen. He doesn't have garlic. So I'm kind of intrigued by this. We got lemon garlic pepper seasoning from Key West. So we're going to kind of knock out two birds with one stone with this with the lemon and garlic that I'm missing. All right. We got Sarah's favorite. I know she's so sad. She's gonna miss her pepper. Lemon garlic pepper. Just that on. I'm gonna use the last of your garlic salt, Sarah. Use the very you last of it. Oh. Right All right. Here it goes, Chef Bean. He's seasoning up the other side. Yeah. Pan's heating up. They're going in soon. Nick, how many swordfish do you think you've ate in your life? Too many. Um, I'm doing some mahi over here. I've eaten too much swordfish the last two years since we started doing YouTube, and uh, I gotta take a break from it. I'm eating too much of it. Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Holy smoke. That's a full pan, yeah. Beanzilla. Mm -hmm. That's a hot pan there. That's a hot pan. You can't take the heat out the kitchen. Getting that better. Now, for my fish, if it's really nice and fresh, I like it a little bit translucent in the middle, just slightly. Now, Nick will tell you, I'm usually a butter guy. 
But yeah, this is the first time he hasn't used Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold garlic, butter, garlic herb. I'm chef Garlic Lee. herb butter. You Hang know, on, let's throw some bacon on it while we're at it. And cheese, yeah, cheese, and cheese, bacon, and butter. Yeah, it all tastes go. great. This you is the first thing he's ever come without cheese and bacon on it in the house. You impressed? Oh yeah. Nick might eat for this tonight. Coming on. Hot stuff coming up. Voila. Uh, we're just gonna do the rest of that mahi in case. I've eaten so much swordfish the past two years because we've been cooking for y'all. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm just getting a little swordfished out, so we gotta eat some mahi mahi. Bellies were bait and the fillets will be dinner. There you go. There you go, perfect. Who spotted that warbird today? I think that little kid Luca did. Mm. The guy just saw one? Not in between you sleeping, I guess he spotted one. I woke up real quick because like I just I just had a sense that the bird was out there. I woke up. I'm like, there he is. <laughs> he was like, man, there was a bird flying around. Oh, oh. You guys, at 150,000 subscribers, we're doing a big giveaway. I mean, we're going to do a trip on the broad-minded. Sarah on Sarah's boat, either you're going to go lobstering or pull a stone crab trap. My dad might even throw in an afternoon of bone fishing. And we're going to put up lodging at the marina, either on the houseboats or the house there. And you get to hang out with me, Bean, and maybe Jamaican Mike. And whoever else is there. He says so, he says going a huge giveaway. He says going to give away to Bean. No, we're not giving away to Bean. One of you guys is going to win this. I don't know how we're doing it yet, but 150,000 subs. You better tell all your friends, family, everyone you know, co-workers. Start subscribing. People that you don't like, everybody. Start subscribing. I'm hungry. been fishing all day. I had a harpoon of 269-pound swordfish. Three times it took him. But each time I hit it. He hit it, but it doesn't count. It doesn't go all the way through it. I hit it each time, but the dart pulled out twice. But three throws, made contact each time. It was a strong fish. It pulled out. It's like hitting the rim in a basketball game. It doesn't go in the hole. It doesn't count. It's in the hoop. Not like that at all. But <laughs> How's the swordfish? You guys want to try a bite real quick? Yeah, let's try a bite of the swordfish real quick. Here we go. Look at this. Wow. Cooked. Nice mm -hmm. seared edges there. Let's see what Chef Beanola did. Right. It is really good. The kid can cook. He can cook very good. It's got some kick to it without pepper on it. Do that lemon pepper. A little, just a little kick. All uh, right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what Nick did here with this mahi. It's okay. He said it's okay. You know the mahi's good. It can't taste any different. It was in the same pan, for God's sake. So here we go. We got swordfish. Uh, we got mahi. We got Asher, we got Bean. We got fresh swordfish and I'm going down. We have <laughs> Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's rice. Uncle Ben's. And um, yeah. Shout out to the training post for a seaweed salad and a pasta salad. It's a beast. Alright, how's the swordfish here? Let's get some honest opinions. How did Bean do? Oh my god. Is it good? Phenomenal, right? So good. Mm. So good. Look at this real quick. Not a bad day in Amarada. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Never want to over, never want to overcook swordfish. If anything, slightly undercook it. Mm. You feel like you did a good job on it, Perfect. <laughs> I got everything I do. Are you kidding me? All right, he's obviously not perfect in everything you do because you're gonna see those harpoon misses as well. Well, he said he hit it, but I didn't count it staying on. Well, but you'll see the swordfish. Maybe the harpoon tip. Maybe it was dull. Yeah. Because he's too cheap to buy a new one. There you go. All right, so this is swordfish right here. Let me give it one more, one more little bite here. It is good. It got a nice little crisp edge on it from the pan there too. So that was good. Let's give it a bite of mahi here. Mahi is good. Now we look at that. He's going back for more mahi right there. Now we saved those mahi bellies for swordfish bait. We're eating the fillets for dinner. The mahi's good. It's all good. That's it for tonight. That's all we got for you. We just want to say thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Bean, sign up for us. Until your finger breaks. Smash it. Smash it. There you go. You heard him. Smash that like button. That was day one of our swordfish camp. Big swordfish, a little swordfish, and some mahis. We're in good shape. Back at tomorrow for day two. Yeah, back at tomorrow the next day. We'll see you all down here soon, hopefully. Here's coming. He's racing up. Racing up. Racing. 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 Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Holy smokes.